My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Today I'm sharing a simple and delicious recipe for Hoppin' John. It's a southern dish that's traditionally eaten on New Year's Day and is thought to bring good luck and peace in the new year. All right, so let me show you what you're going to need. And as always, I will make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So you are going to need some cooked rice. Now, whenever I am using rice for a skillet meal or for a casserole, I always make it the night before so that it's a little bit firm. And so that is what I have here. You're also going to need some bacon. You are going to need some canned black eyed peas. And I have drained these and rinsed these. You're gonna need some frozen collard greens, onion, and you're going to need garlic powder, seasoned salt, and black pepper. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're gonna do is fry up that bacon and render out all of that bacon fat. Okay, so my bacon is nice and cooked, and as you can see, all that bacon fat is in there. You're gonna leave that in there, and you're going to add in your collard greens. And you're gonna let these collard greens cook until they are nice and tender, probably about five, 10 minutes or so. Okay, so my collard greens have gotten nice and tender, and now I'm just adding in that onion and the seasonings. And give it a good stir. And you're gonna let the onions get a little tender. All right, so now you're gonna add in that cooked rice. and you're gonna add in your black-eyed peas. And you're gonna stir everything up really well and let everything heat through. Okay, so here is the Hoppin' John. You can see how easy it is to prepare. One tip that I do wanna leave you all with is, once I have all of the ingredients combined, I turn off the burner and then I just let those peas and greens just steam in that pan to soften them just a little bit. But um, it is absolutely delicious, very simple. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.